Hello, my fellow Griefers and Trolls. Eric the Plague Doctor, 981YT here. And Bikos, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online. So in the last one, I believe we helped the weird out and finished up what we needed to do for them. And now... I'm not sure... Um, what we, um, are doing. We're doing a quest, that's all I know. It's been a while. Got him. Hello. A messenger? From Aldcroft, by any chance? What news from there? We heard reports that Camelorn refugees had inundated the town. Werewolves tried to take over the town, but they didn't succeed. That's where I'm pressing the button. That's good. Losing Camelorn was bad enough. Meanwhile, we've made significant progress here. Our research is finally beginning to yield results. The ghosts of the Alessian army still haunt this place. It's been an age since the Battle of Glenumbra Moors raged here, yet the spirits linger. What are you looking for? Falchu, the beast that ravages Camlorn. He fought and died here. We want to know what happened all those years ago. Then we can kill him again. How do you find out what happened so long ago? Sarveth, our master of Incanabula, hopes to evoke a vision that shows us the events surrounding Falchu's death. We're collecting the most powerful historic artifacts to use as focus objects. The spirits are making the task difficult, however. Okay. I'll help if I can. The generals of the Alessian army played a vital part in the Battle of the Glenumbra Moors. Their weapons, if still intact, would suffice, I think. If you manage to get your hands on the weapons, find Sarveth. He knows what to do from there. Why is it important to find out how Falchu died? Falchu wasn't called the Invincible General for nothing. You can cut him, bash him, fill him full of arrows. He just keeps coming. We must discover how they stopped him and ended this ancient war. What can you tell me about the Battle of Glenumbra Moors? I could tell you the basic story, but if you want a deeper understanding, you need to ask our lore master, Dalina. She's up on the tower observing the movement of the spirits. All right, let's do this. No Dereni shall get past these gates. Do you understand me? Nearby, 
think they have an advantage, do they? Ha! Just wait until their plan crumbles around them. Okay, we can't use it on dead people. All right. Make sure these orders circulate amongst them. They need to be prepared for what's to come. until their plan crumbles around. Can I get an F in the chat, boys? <laughs> JK.
who freed the researchers from the library of dusk. Well done. Okay, there's an important phone call coming in, guys. Give me just a second. Okay, Bikos, the Plague Doctor is back. Uh, just a call from my uh, therapist office. Um, she, they've apparently had procedural changes in regards to the coronavirus, so yeah. you as tall as a tree, with claws like great swords. Yes. Burn it. He breathed fire and ate warriors, armor and all. I've heard it all before. Bagroon here claims that the threat Falchu poses has been greatly exaggerated. Poor fool wouldn't know a moth from a mammoth. Grella asked me to bring you these things. Ah, the focus objects. These would do very nicely. Let me just, uh, hmm. I don't think that was supposed to come off. Well, these swords are pretty beat up. I'm sure we'll still have plenty of material for the ritual, though. What do you hope to accomplish? If all goes well, we'll be able to peer into the past. Hopefully see what happened to Falchu. Find out how the Durenis were able to defeat the Alessians so long ago. And if something goes wrong, well... Then we shall see what we shall see. I'd like to observe the ritual, if that's fine. Of course. We'll be using the amalgamated essence of the past, focus with these ancient weapons to open a sort of window into history. Follow me. Now we may finally learn how Falchu was defeated. And maybe we'll find out how tall the Horker really was. Giuliano's little teapot. We did it, I think. Was that supposed the to happen? Spell worked better than I anticipated. We didn't just create a window into the past, we opened a door. The very air ripples with temporal disturbance. Somewhere nearby, a door into history stands open. All we need to do is step through it. Who was that woman who a appeared? A fragment from the past, I think. Something that was pulled forward with the spell. 
Let's hope that was all he pulled forward. So how does this help us learn about Falchu? Someone brave and rash enough has to actually step through the door we opened. I'm too valuable to get lost in the past, and Bagroon would probably change history with all his usual bumbling about. Ask Grala what she thinks we should do. Grella. We heard a scream, and then ripples of magical distortion started to sweep across the battlefield. What happened? Your mages have opened the door into the They past. were supposed to cast a simple divination spell, nothing more. Sarvith wasn't supposed to open any doorways. Sarvith thinks we can go back in time to learn about Falchu's I death. don't like this. Time magic shouldn't be meddled with. But what's done is done. Maybe one of those ripples has the answers we seek. What should I do? Examine the ripples. See if there really is a doorway of some kind out there. And keep an eye out for anything else out of the ordinary. Who knows what they may have pulled out of the past. Seek to see into the past. I can guide you. Okay, that was weird. I can show you how Fao Chu met his death. If Fao Chu has risen, then he must die again. Go to the crypt. I'll meet you there and show you how to discover the secret you seek. Remember this place. It all started here on the day of the final battle. We gave up everything to kill Fowl Chu. I'll be damned if I just let him come back to life and curse the world again. Is that why you've returned? I'm here because the one I loved gave up everything that day to save his people. You seek answers. I'm here to help you find them, and hopefully avoid the tragedy that occurred on that long-ago day. This armor is your key to the past. It belonged to my beloved, and was buried in this place of honor. It was my beloved's hand that cut Fao Chu down. What happens if I put on the you armor? We live the last moments of the battle. 
You'll take the place of my beloved. Experience the fall of Fal Chu as it happened. But be careful. You can affect events. Whatever you do may have untold consequences. What kind of consequences? You won't just see a vision of the past. You'll live through it. What you do may change the destiny of those around you. This is a terrible burden to carry, but it's the only way to get the information you seek. When you're ready, put on the armor. Okay, I'll put on the armor. This armor brings back such memories. Now get dressed. There's much to see, and the connection to the past won't last long. How do I return to the present? When Fal Chu dies, the armor will eject you from the past. You'll return unharmed to the here and now. Yes, that's what will happen. I'm sure of it. Can you tell me anything about where I'm going? It was a violent, bloody time. The Alessians were on a holy crusade to purge every Myrrh who occupied this land and called it home. They destroyed anything with even the smallest connection to magic. But you were Breton, not Mur. Why fight against them? Would you stand by while those who didn't deserve to die were judged by religious zealots? Unless I strongly misjudged you, I think not. We did what was right, and we would do it again, which is why I'm here. Alright, let's do this. There you are, my love. I was starting to worry about you. Why do you linger, my love? Commander Parmion rallies the troops for the final assault. You're his best officer and our noblest knight. You should be at his side for this moment. I'm not sure what's going Did on. Did that blow to your head rattle your senses? We're on the verge of turning the tide, and we'll launch the strike against Falchu's headquarters soon. Come, my love. We have work to do. Okay, remind me. What work is the that? The Alessian orders, of course. They're crucial. We captured the messenger, but not before he handed the orders off. We need to search enemy soldiers until we can retrieve them. We can't have the Alessians surprise us when we're this close to victory. Do what you have to do and find those orders. Me at camp. We need to talk. To all Alessian soldiers, the Durini believe they have the advantage. They are comfortable in their camps and secure in their victory. They have lost focus. Word has reached us that the Durini will launch a major assault in the coming hours. When this happens, we will send our assassin scouts under the cover of shadows to get in behind them, destroying their camp. If this works, we can catch their assault from behind in a flank and wipe them out at once and for all. No one will stand in the way of the Elysians, kill and keep killing in the name of the one. A 
about time you return. There you are, my knight. Did you recover the orders? Here are the Elysian orders. Excellent. You're a credit to the Dereni Guard. Now we can prepare a proper counterattack to the upcoming Elysian assault. They won't know what hit them. You should show these to the Iliad King. He just arrived and is eager to get involved. The Iliad King? Yes, he surprised us all. We weren't expecting the last king of a dying people to show up on the field of battle. But he's a brilliant tactician and his advice can only help. Meanwhile, we'll send Alana's unit to put an end to Falchu. Elena? I need to be the one to strike down Falchu. What nonsense. Alana can handle it. If these orders are any indication, I need you to lead our defenses. But speak to Alana before she goes, if you like. Just make it quick, and don't forget to talk to the king. Man, it's been a while since we've seen this guy. A Breton, fighting for the Dareni. Somewhat surprising, though not unheard of, considering the current circumstances. Wait a moment. That armor. I've heard stories about you. They say you fight as if Oriel himself blessed you. We recovered these orders from an Elysian soldier. The situation unfolding upon the battlefield is telling enough. These orders only confirm my suspicions. The Alessians plan to slip past your defenses to, how do they put it, catch the Dereni with their trousers down. <laughs> what a curious phrase. What should we do? Use the Dereni magic of your armor to spot the covert shadow scouts before they can do any significant damage. Then dispatch them with extreme prejudice. A simple one. But I'm actually very curious about you. Why are you interested in me? These old alien eyes see many things. Everyone in this yard, for example, radiates an aura of life force. But not you. Your aura's missing. I can't tell if you're not truly alive, or you just don't belong. I've never seen magic like this before. You're right, I don't belong Honesty. here. Honesty. A most redeeming quality. But we will have to speak of this later, when matters are less pressing. Right now, we have a battle to win. I appreciate your report. I Alana? know you wanted to go after Fal Chu, but you'll see plenty of action defending the camp. Are you sure you don't want me to go with you? I appreciate you? your concern, my love, but orders are orders. If either of us fails, this entire battle could be lost. But have no fear. I'll make sure we never have to worry about Fal Chu again. How will you stop How? him? How? He's just a man, my love. I'll stick my sword in him a few times until he drops. Then I'll stab him again. I'll be back in no time, carrying his head high as a trophy. I can't think of a better gift to celebrate our new family. Our family? Later, my love. I'll tell you all about it after the battle. No need to distract you right now. It's nothing but good news, though, I promise. I love you, you know. Now go. Is she pregnant? We make our final stand here. The Alessians are rabble and their numbers mean nothing. This land is ours and we intend to keep it. Today, Falchu and the Alessians meet their end at our hands. Today, we celebrate our victory. Guys, listen to this. I bet Alana gets killed by Fel go by going after Felchu, and then her the character we're playing as now 
goes after Felchu in spite of revenge.
archers. We were ambushed, surrounded. Alana and the others. Too many of them. They tore us apart. Captain, I have bad news. Commander Parmion is dead. What happened? Commander Parmion decided to accompany us, but it was a trap. We to find Fal Chu and his officers, but there was a whole platoon waiting for us. We couldn't stop them. The commander fought bravely, but they cut him down and took Alana. I'm afraid there isn't much time. We expect Fal Chu to launch a full-scale assault at any moment. What do you recommend? It's a tough choice. I think there are enough of us left alive to go after Fal Chu. But we also need to rescue Alana. I don't know. What are your orders, Captain? I guess I need to decide. This is an easy choice, I know. I don't envy you, but whatever you decide, we're with you. Set it Fan out. Take the soldiers and kill Fel Chu. I'll rescue Alana. Yes, Captain. They dragged Alana up the path behind me. Good luck. We'll get Fel Chu for you. Leveled up. I'll worry about that stuff later when I can look at the build. Disaster. I should have suspected a trap. And now Commander Parmion's dead. What about Fal Chu? I sent the remaining troops to you kill him. You sent them to be slaughtered. I was wrong. Fal Chu isn't an ordinary man. I drove my sword right into his heart and he didn't even feel it. Our weapons won't be able to stop him. 
The soldiers won't stand a chance. There must be some way to kill Falchu. Wait a moment. The way he shrank back from our torches. Fire! That's the answer. It has to be. Tell the others. Help them. If Falchu isn't killed, we all lose. And what about you? Someone needs to get this information back to our camp. If Falchu eludes you, our remaining forces need to know how to kill him. Go, my love. Go make history. our assassin tactics on them. Where is he? Can we sneak around him? Yes, we can. Those damn fires out. It's time to wipe out all traces of those Durini. Your puny weapons are no match for my fangs and claws. <laughs> Welcome back. Are you alright? Were you successful? Why? Why are you staring at me like that? You're a woman. Why, yes, of course. Are you sure you're alright? 
It doesn't matter. What happened? I killed Falchu. Fire weakens him and makes him vulnerable. Can it really be that simple? Alana said that all along, but now we know for certain. Now we can take the fight to Falchu, and we can win. Alana's here? Where else would she be? She's the one who approved your mission. Don't you remember? I'm sure it'll all come back to you. Time travel can be very stressful. Anyway, Alana's in camp. Go tell her what you learned. You're back and just in time, but the celebration must wait, I'm afraid. Falchu's forces have taken all of Camlorn, and the Lion Guard's counterattack falters. Alana, is that really you? What's wrong with you? Why are you looking at me like that? You know I'm the descendant of the spirit who appeared before you. Get your head on straight and tell me how Falchu was originally defeated. She tells me to get my head on straight, yet I'm not straight, so... Fire weakens him and makes him vulnerable. I thought as much. That's the story our family has passed down through the ages, but I needed proof. Now Camlorn must be told. You know, what you've done here has changed everything, maybe more than we know. I thought as much. Well, Bicos, this has been one hell of a ride. So in the next one, we will continue the um, main quest by talking with um, Grillella. Grilla. The... And yeah, we'll talk with her in the next one and see what she has for us. So until then, um, this has been Eric the Plague Doctor, 981YT, and I will see all of you in Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, my favorite game of all time. Bye!